All right, here we go. Jermaine Hopkins, welcome to Vlad TV. Vlad, what's up, man? What's up, man? <laughs> pleasure to have you on. You actually yeah. reached out to me. Yeah, pleasure to be on here, man. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah you hit me up uh, on Instagram on the DM. Yep. You said you want to come in. I said, man, I would love to have you here. And it's funny, man. I, you know, I hit up a lot of people, man, and uh, I was like, well, maybe he will respond, maybe not, you know. And you respond. I was like, that's what's up, man, because you know, some people are ignore. Or, don't see it too busy or whatever, but it's all good. Hey man, you know we're on our business out here, right? You know, and we right. inter we interviewed you know your co-star from Juice, uh, Khalil Kane. Yeah, that's my boy. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, oh, this just fits into that whole to that whole story. Right. Right. So right. absolutely. Right. Well, your first time here. Let's yes. go ahead and start from the beginning. First time won't be my last. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> you grew up in Jersey. Yes, Newark, New Jersey. Newark, New Jersey. Yes. So this was 70s, 80s? Uh, I was born in 73. Right. So yeah, 70s, 80s, uh, you know, coming up, you know, 4th Street between Sussex and Dickinson, and between there and Dayton Street Projects, Twin City, Roller Skate and Ring. You know, a lot of my childhood memories uh, was there on bikes, mm -hmm. you know, and everything. I mean, Newark's always had this kind of reputation, you know, being a rough area. You know what I'm saying? Uh, was it rough growing up during that time? No, nah, Newark was the suburbs, man. No. Nah. <laughs> Newark, uh, Newark was what it was. Uh, Newark was, it, it's got its name, the Brick City, yeah. because of all of the project developments. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like a project development town. So uh, with that and, you know, with the compiling of so many people right on top of each other, yeah, you get, you know, it gets a little, little, little rough, a little chaos. Uh, a little chaotic, but you know. Okay, so I mean, as a kid, before you start getting into doing the movies, did you see anything real crazy, disturbing, that type of thing? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, as a kid, you know, back in Dayton Street, you know, it was a time, and a lot of people that was, you know, from there, lived there, whatever, you know, bear witness of it. You know, we. They would go to the roof sometime and, you know, they'd throw a body off of the roof. Wow. So, uh, and at that time, that was like straight off of some Superman or, you know, some, some kind of superhero show that I would have been watching, I would think, you know what I mean? Not really in reality. So, yeah, that, would, that, that, that had to be one of the most you know, most dramatic things, you know, as, as a youngster. So you actually saw those bodies being thrown off the roofs, or uh, you just saw the after effect? After effect, you know, and then, then just being around, like, you know, I used to spend my summers over there at my aunt's house um, and the weekends during the winter. Uh, so it was just like I lived over there, but it just, the whole, the whole vibe of it, you know, uh, not knowing like well, when there's another when is somebody gonna throw somebody else off of the roof or whatever the case may be you know crackhead hit the scene real hard you know right talking about the 80s that was right. that was the epicenter right you know when things started to really you know crack started to move right. through, throughout the country and and hit these communities like newark pretty hard yes yeah because yeah. um i interviewed uh tretch it's my from body by nature he was yeah. newark also right yeah newark east Stars right there yeah that whole area. Yeah, yeah. When I interviewed Tretch, I mean, he was telling just all types of war stories of shootouts. And, oh, yeah. You know, he was involved in, in crack dealing during that time. And, you know, it was kind of a horrific, horrific time when you really yeah. sit back and think about it right now. Now, I mean, when you talk about selling crack, a lot of, a lot of shit comes with that. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you think was the worst thing you went through during that era? Crack was like a whole different charge. You get more time. So we just sold it. The fiends had to do it. But probably the worst thing was like when we out there, probably the worst time is like when they shot up, when stick up kids came. Mm. And they they wasn't even really coming to stick shit up. They started shooting from the corner. Oh, so they were just going to shoot. They was like, oh, they, they, they got the hot block. I right, ain't nobody saying with a stash. Yet. That's the first time we saw like assault rifles. We had little thirty eights and motherfucking like like what the for a little four five. What the fuck is that? <laughs> you feel me? KG got skinned in the neck. Oh wow! Just by being outside, they shot up like 
pregnant girl in the car, homie, boom. Luckily, nobody died, but it was like a wake-up call to us, like, we got to get in the game now. Yeah. Or get out of it, because it's some real live savages out here. I mean, we, you know, we all was, you know, it, we we all it was right there in front of us. So it's, it, it it was all in the individual how, however you played the part, you know, in the whole thing. I mean, did your mom keep you away from all that? Did you get, you know, wrapped up into any of that? Well, she tried her best. You know, I mean, my mom really, really tried her best. Uh, my problem growing up. You know, I was always uh, excited and uh, into the bad guys, if you want to say. Like, you know, when I when I watch the movies, like, you know, Batman and Robin. I didn't I didn't want to see Batman win. I wanted to see the Joker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Rooting for the bad guy. Yeah, uh, and that that was a little kid. So you know, being outside in the neighborhood, you know, certain certain. Uh, 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 cats and family members that I idolized, you know, uh, just was was the ones that you know. I guess you know society would say you know those are those are the bad guys. Those are the ones you wanna, you know, do different. But you know, I found myself always either in the back seat of the car or, you know, right there, you know. And I guess my humor also made up for the immaturity. Because um, a lot of the cats would allow me to be around just because, you know, I, I kept them laughing. I was free spirited, free spirited, and I would speak from the heart. You know, I would, you know, I had, you know, I was a kid, but I didn't bite my tongue. You know, me and Red Fox got along that same way. Mm. You know.